Good morning and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Wednesday, February 6th, and I'm Sam Doherty. President Donald Trump gave his second State of the Union address yesterday, sending a message of compromise and unity just weeks after the longest government shutdown in United States history. According to CBS News, this is the first speech that the president has given in Congress since the Democrats took over the House of Representatives at the beginning of the year. President Trump also spoke about his support of funding programs to eradicate AIDS. His economic accomplishments and the historic election of 117 women to Congress last November. Day. This rose is terrible. Why didn't you just buy one from the Jewish Student Association? When do you place your order? February 4th to 6th in the quad third block. How much money are the roses? Only two dollars. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Anyone interested in trying out for varsity or JV girls lacrosse in the spring should attend the meeting next Monday after school in room 713. Please see coaches Mrs. Hill or Mrs. DeThorne with any questions. Your book is now collecting pictures for the Senior Then and Now section. This is your chance to recreate that group photo from your younger years. Both pictures and the names of the students in the photo should be of seniors only and be emailed to Mrs. Jasensky by February 15th. Please check your school email for more details. Shakespeare Society will be selling sonnets for the annual Send a Sonnet this week during lunch. The sonnets will be sold tomorrow, Friday and Monday, and the prices for $1 are $2, 2 for $4, and 3 for $5. The sonnets will be delivered to a person you're choosing on Valentine's Day. Dodge Wall will be hosting its 11th annual tournament on March 1st from 5 to 8.30 p.m. in the West Gym. The teams consist of 10 people, and teams must have four males, four females, and two current faculty members or coaches district-wide. There's a $60 entry fee per team due to Coach Rallier by February 15th. The tournament is double elimination. A Minnesota man affected by last week's polar vortex was one of the many people that froze their pants off. But it's not what you'd expect. According to the Huffington Post, Tom Grotting of Minneapolis has made it a yearly tradition to hang his own pants outside in the bitter cold. Grotting's tradition sparked national attention and soon plenty of Minnesotans followed his lead. And if you want to know how to do it, just soak your own pairs of jeans in water and then go hang them outside whenever it's predicted to drop below zero again. Or just go to Minnesota. You'll freeze your pants off there anyway. And that's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Sam Doherty. Today's an A-Day. Have a great day.